What's up YouTube? So recently uh, a friend of mine had told me about this Euclear product that he had purchased and um, he was actually the, the, the kit that he bought came with um, two of these and um, for some reason or another we couldn't link up so I just stopped by uh, the local cycle gear shop talked to the girl at the counter she was very helpful and she she suggested this new amp model. Um, the new amp model supposedly um, has uh, a little bit clearer um, speakers. They said the last complaint on these units was that the speakers were very loud. So I can't compare the old unit to the new unit, but I can tell you that uh, these speakers are loud. Um, you know, once... Once you have the speakers in the correct spot for your ears, you're going to hear them. Um, I'm, let's go over what I like about the unit so far. Um, what I like about it is you can take calls now with your helmet. Um, their their uh, technology basically triangulates your voice from the two head speakers uh, so there's no boom mic. Um, and I'll show you that what that looks like. Now, the other thing that I like, which is really cool, um, is that when there's an incoming call, basically, you say, answer call, and a few, t a, a few t seconds take over, and lo and behold, the, the person that's calling you is coming through your ears. So that, from a perspective, is super fucking cool, great option, uh, because you don't really want to fumble around with the stupid fucking buttons that are on the side of the unit. Or pull out your phone uh, while you're trying to switch gears or, or braking at a stoplight. Or you're buzzing down the road at 85, 95 miles an hour. You want to be able to just say, answer the call. Now, I will tell you that when I did take the call, um, I wasn't going that fast. But the call was, very, was pretty clear. So, we talked about taking calls in your helmet. Um, it's also great. I like it because you can listen to music. Um, I listen to music all the time. Uh, it's a little difficult when you wear a full face helmet, um, but uh, this this has actually made it a lot easier. So the the other thing is um, it was pretty easy to install. Uh, probably took about ten minutes to get it done. Um, once you have the speakers in the correct positions, which took me some time to do, um, but I managed to do it. Once again, there's there's the other speaker right there. And just finding out what the correct spot is, um, there'll be right over top of your ears. Um, took me about three tries, but I was able to get that job done. Um, also, um, what I'll share with you is that uh, I had to go into my settings uh, on my uh, iPhone, and I had to pick the option for small speakers. Once I picked the option for the small speakers, the sound was so much better. Um, when it was just in its original setup for large speakers, it was definitely overpowering. And the first thing I said was, Jesus Christ, this thing sounds like shit. Um, so you're going to have to go into your settings and pick the appropriate speakers. So, so there's one of the, um, the speakers. And that little doodad thing on the bottom there, that's what actually picks up your voice. From those, uh, if you don't have a um, a helmet with the ear cutouts, you're probably going to have a bit of an issue fitting this in. But all the wires pretty much tucked underneath of of the helmet. Um, pretty simple to do as long as you've taken your helmet apart. I've done it to clean it. Uh, I found it pretty simple. So moving on to the box, um, I'll go ahead and open the box up and I'll show you what's left over because most of it is actually installed on the helmet at this point but they did give you some extra stuff and we'll go through that as well okay so when you open up the box you got this little clear package the packaging uh, the packaging on this i'd give it an a plus it's clear um most of it's pretty legible about you know what you're going to get with the package the specifications uh the count on what you're going to get uh there's a for some reason there's um there's a temporary mount and a permanent mount. I haven't figured out uh, why they would give you two mounts. 
Um, I, and I can, I think from what I'm looking at, I, I put on the temporary mount at this point. So when you undo the box, uh, this head unit here is going to be sitting right here. And then the two speakers for your ears are going to be sitting in this little felt thing right here. And then when you open the other, when you open that part up, um, they give you uh, some more Velcro. And then, um, that's just a piece of that. Another piece of Velcro is actually in there. And then some 3M. These clips are how you actually put the unit inside the helmet. And then I'm guessing this right here is the permanent mount, which, like I said, I'm not sure why you need a permanent mount. Maybe that's for a helmet, I'm assuming, that uh, just doesn't have the uh, space because it actually goes in between this side and this side. So you have so you have to pull the inside of your helmet guts apart to, to get it to clip in. Um, now they do show um, a lady on the website and she makes it look real fucking easy and she can get these clips out because basically these are the butterfly clips that this collapses and it opens up and then you shove it up in there and then you let it go. So the outside clip sits here and obviously you can, you can press that together and that one will fall. But then you have this other clip that's hanging right here. Um, and when you've got all this padding here, you basically gotta take a set of uh, needle nose pliers to get the fucking thing apart. Um, so all in all, I think it's a pretty decent unit. I'd like to see some changes with it. There was no 800 number that you could call. Um, you know, basically it's, it's having you look at, you know, what the instructions are and, and these fucking things right here. They only go over so much. Um, of course they tell you they have a Facebook page and they have a Twitter page and an Instagram, but all that doesn't do you any fucking help. Uh, when you're sitting there fumbling with something that you just spend 150 bucks for and it's not really working correctly. Like I said, um, th this connection right here, you've got to take basically both hands and you've got to jam it in there and you've got to make sure that it's all the way seated because if it's not, you'll get control of your electronic device, but you get absolutely no sound um, out of the speakers. Now I have taken one call with the unit. Um, I was riding on my bagger, which has um, a 120R motor with some D and D exhaust. That bike is extremely loud. Uh, I had to cover. I had to put down my face shield um, to even hear what the hell the other guy was saying. But surprisingly enough, um, the guy on the other end said that he could hear me crystal clear. So um, if you have a bike and it has loud exhaust, um, this may be a little temperamental. It may not be uh, as clear as you're hoping it's going to be. But then again, um, you know, for 150 bucks, you know, when other units are costing two, three hundred dollars, maybe this is the big bang for your buck. Um, you know, right now, I think the jury's still out, but I don't think I got ripped off. So uh, if anything else develops with this, I'll shoot another YouTube video. If not, we'll see you again soon.